What's going on everyone? Steven here. Today I wanted to do a demonstration with this cheat table that I'm working on that's eventually going to be a modding tool for SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy. Just wanted to show you what kind of stuff you could do with a fighting game. Uh, this is a pretty extensive type of script I've got going on here. This game recently came out, so I'm waiting for the developers to get through their update phase where they're, you know, patching things and whatnot before I start trying to build out a full tool. But I just wanted to demonstrate a lot of what I've done so far. And a lot of what I'm going to be covering I plan to demonstrate in future videos. So keep an eye out for those. So for now, what I want to show you is... Um, First off, I have things divided into various scripts um, or collections of scripts, collections of scripts rather. Um, so the first I'm going to show you is cutscene scripts. So once we get into the game here, this cutscene is going to start. And so you'll see the camera moving, but and you'll see the two girls here waking up. But as I hit freeze, see how the camera's moving? but they're frozen. So there's still some amount of the scene going on with audio, but you know, I can unfreeze and let them start waking up. And you know, at any point now I can freeze the characters. So there they are frozen. And once I've done that, what I can do is get the base address of the player structure for each of these characters on the screen. And then I can drill down into either one of them or both and mess with various things with them. So here what I can do is actually move and place in the scene either of them wherever I want. I can scale them up to make them larger, scale them back down, rotate. So you can see how, you know, the character is. Um, obviously 3D characters here, not 2D, <laughs> and um, yeah, so just cool stuff like that, and now I can disable that, unfreeze them, freeze them again, fighter 2, maybe she's one I want to start moving around now, and she's like orbiting around some other kind of center point there, um, so... Anyway, there's some kind of offset there that you could find if you wanted to and try to make it to where she spins more center to whatever that anchor point is. But anyway, again, can place her anywhere in the scene. We can scale her down if we want. And you can actually get into negative scaling, which like breaks the character a lot. <laughs> so like you'll see their eyes through their head and all kinds of crazy stuff. So. Anyway, pretty wacky stuff. Um, let me disable that, 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 and then I'll go ahead and let this scene play out. We'll get into the fighting scene, and I'll show you the things that I've done within all that with fight scene scripts and camera scripts. So the first thing I'll do is here in this cutscene, I can do the same thing where you can freeze them. And here I have the base addresses for all of them. She's Fighter 1. I can move her around within the scene. Actually, I think she's Fighter 1. Maybe she's Fighter 2. Let's do that. Oh, there's Fighter 2 right there. Uh, back in the background there. Yep. So if we want, we can scale her up, scale her down, bring her more into the scene if we want, and yeah, so <laughs> as you can see, we can get really crazy here with stuff. So I'm going to do that and try to futz with her again. Oh, there's the, this one's player one right now. All right, so I can move her around. And player three is the one that, there she is. That's fighter three. So all that same stuff. You can see that the rotation here when rotating on this axis is locked like this. So, you know, might have to get in and change some stuff manually if you wanted where that's concerned. But anyway, let's go ahead and unfreeze them and get them to the fight. All right, so I'm gonna let her strike, boom. 
All right, so now I've frozen the scene here. I'll unfreeze and freeze again. There we go, so she's not in that jittery state. Here the timer's counting down. I'm gonna disable the timer, which kind of doesn't matter because in the game you can set it to be an infinite timer if you want. But now that we have that, um, you know, I can get back into here and she was fighter three. So, oh, now fighter three is her back there. Fighter two is going to be, all right, the chick that's kicking. All right, so, you know, we can rotate her however and place her anywhere within the scene, just like all the other stuff. See how the camera's moving in relation to wherever we have her placed. Uh, if we wanted, we could scale her up and make it look like, you know, ginormous boot to the face there. <laughs> anyway, um, so something else that's cool that we can do is I'm going to disable the freeze. Now I'm going to freeze again. And here in this disable player NPC rights, I'm going to disable character move speed right. And then with fighter one, I'm going to come into other and see this character movement speed pause. All right. If I do fighter two, I'm going to enter zero. And now I'm going to toggle freeze girls. All right. And so the chick in the background got me, but now I can move, but that first character is the one that's frozen, right? And I can freeze any one of these individual characters that I want. Not only can I do this, but with my fighter, I can set her movement speed to 10. And she's just ultra fast now, right? <laughs> so she's hopping around like crazy on the screen, and the other one's just standing there frozen. And of course, I could set it down to something like three and have it be, you know, it's still fast, but more controllable, except for up in the air. But uh, yeah, so. And now what we could do is uh, let me get the camera related stuff here. So get camera data. And now what I can do, some stuff that I'm working on, is um, cut out the background. So if I set this to negative 0.01, I've got both fighters here. And, you know, I could, if I wanted to, move that other character out of the screen. And then my character that's moving around all fast right now, if I wanted, I could scale her up and, you know, take crazy looking screenshots, right? So see how I moved her and she scaled back down? That's where I have things like uh, on the disable player NPC rights. If I disable all player NPC scale XYZ rights, now I can scale her up and move her around like that. And she stays that same scale size. So we could even scale her down and just have like this chibi fight <laughs> or whatever. So you could even have like miniature mode. Maybe you shrink both fighters and, you know, whatever. So, yeah, I've put in a lot of work into this over the weekend doing all this, but it's a whole lot of fun. So just kind of wanted to show what you could do with something like this and uh, kind of show you some things that I'll be moving towards with doing some of my tutorials here in the near future. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to the channel, check out other videos. Got a ton of game hacking stuff and plenty more to come. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.